What up guys, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! KG here, and today I'm bringing you something totally different than what I've done. I'm bringing you a deck profile today. I have never done a deck profile on this channel, or any channel really, but I figured it'd be cool and just show you guys like one of my decks, one of my various decks that I have. So this is a Nurse Burn deck, or otherwise as a trolling deck, or a fun deck to play. It's not really like... I'd go into like a tournament with it kind of deck. It's just a fun deck to play at locals or something like that. I got a lot of ideas from another Yugi tuber. Like he put some cards in that I thought were just really amazing that ran with the deck so well. So I kind of want to show you guys my build of my own Nurse Burn deck along with like a few ideas nitpicked here and there. So let's get started. All right. I run one morphing jar just for like the draws and stuff to get into my nurses or samachis, whatever. Or I'll just keep it right here. One stealth bird. Now this is an idea I picked up from someone. It was either this or spirit reaper. I chose stealth bird because not only does it give off the 1000 burn damage, which is really great. Like you don't even need samachi or nurse for that. It just does it. Um, he has a pretty good defense for that 1700. You can't see that because my camera's so bad. But I, I chose him over Spirit Reaper because I run Marshmallow, so I didn't think I would need, like, the, I guess, defense, you could say. So I thought Stealth Bird was a really great idea for that because he can do burn damage as well as go into defense mode. Um, two Lava Golems. Three is just, I think, too much because y you need two monsters for your on your opponent's side of the field, of course, to special summon them out. And when you do that, you can't set that turn or special summon them wait yeah can't like special summon or set that turn so i thought two was just enough that i don't need any more than two it's just to get rid of like people's extra monsters like extra deck monsters you know just a good way to get rid of like all that zen mains and crap two battle faders just you know enough said right here two battle faders just when i can't get my marshmallows out enough or i have to like defend for a little bit while i'm planning or something you know anything and then three marshmallows, good defense, you know, can't be destroyed, plus they burn you for a thousand damage, or burn your opponent for a thousand damage, sorry, when they get flipped up. So, you know, just three of them, good defense. And of course, the three Nurse Reficules, this is going to be like your main part of the deck right here. You seriously need either one of these or Samachis to pull this deck off, like to the extreme. You could win without them, I mean, I, I guess you can, maybe. Hopefully, but of course, it's not called an Earth Spurn deck for nothing. Alright, so I want for the spells one Swords of Revealing Light. I don't need more than one. One is good enough for me, I think. Two Messenger of Peace. Two is good, you know. I mean, it's kind of like swords, but you know, pay 100 each standby phase. It's not that bad. Two Soul Taker. Soul Taker. I think it's really good because not only are you destroying their face-up monster, you're also burning them for a thousand. And, I mean, even if you don't have so much your nurse, you're still killing a monster. Yeah, your opponent will get, you know, gain 1,000 life points, but two is awesome. Three upstart goblin. Draw a card. If you have nurse or Samachi, burn them for a thousand. If not, you just pick up more cards, you know, until you get those. Until you get the nurse or Samachi, whatever. Oh gosh, I think I'm sick or something. Keep sniffling. Okay, now we're on the traps. This I picked up from someone to Ceasefire. Ceasefire is really great because it flips, it, it, it like inflicts 500 damage for each effect on the field. Effect monster on the field, it could be you, your opponent, whatever. So I mean, if you have your marshmallow and face up, burn them for another 500, and it even flips all face down, defense monsters face up, so. And flip effects aren't activated when it does that, so that's what they picked up. Another great card. Like, this card is absolutely great for this deck, and I don't know why I didn't realize this sooner because I've had this, like, for years, this card. Judgment of Anubis. I picked this up from a Yugi tuber for this deck. This card is so awesome. Like, I don't even know why I didn't see this earlier. Basically, you discard a card from your hand. You can negate the activation of a spell card controlled by your opponent, that has the effect of destroying spells or traps on the field. Plus, there's a bonus. Then you could destroy a face of monster your opponent controls, and they take damage equal to the attack of the monster. 
It's awesome. Like, you could negate MSTs, heavy storms, any kind of spell that would destroy your own spells and traps because, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this deck is really trap heavy. It's spell heavy. I mean, you don't have that many monsters in this deck. So this card right here, I would recommend two. I only run one, but I'd get two. I mean, it's just so good. It really is. It has, like, the best effect ever. Blocks MST, heavy storm, any spell that will target spells and traps on the field. Or not target, but destroy them. Trust me, you gotta pick this card up. It's so great. Like, I picked it up from someone on YouTube about that. And I didn't even know about this card. I didn't even know it existed. So I had to go get that. Alright. Two Reckless Greeds. I used to have three, but... I, I didn't... Th like, with the Upstart Goblins... I didn't think I would need a third Reckless Greed, so I took it out. But two Reckless Greed just to get your draw power on, to get into your Nurse or Samachi, because you will need them to make this deck effective to win. Alright, next, two Seeker Barrel. Really great, you know, inflict 200 damage for each card your opponent controls on the field and in their hand. So it's really great, just more burn. Dark Bribe is also good. You can negate a spell or trap your opponent controls to draw a card. It's the only downside. I mean, you can negate their Heavy Storm or MST if you can't get into your Anubis really quick. And then I run three Magic Cylinders, just for defense, really. Three Paths of Destiny for the burn. And a chance of gaining life, if you can. And, of course, three Samachis. Just like Nurse, but trap form. <laughs> and last but not least, three Gift Card. That's your main, like, boom of the deck. And that's it. It's a 40 card deck, I think. I think it's 40 cards. 40 card deck. That's it. That's the Nurse Burn deck. I don't have a side deck for this, and I don't have an extra deck for this. I I don't think... I don't like right, running side decks. I know that's really weird to say, but I'm not a big side deck fan. I mean, ever since I started, like, geez, 10 years ago, I never ran a side deck for my decks. And, like, the extra deck, you don't really need an extra deck to win... There's only so many few times you would ever need an extra deck, but you don't need one for this deck. Because you don't have really many options. I mean, the only thing you can get into is, like, Zen Mains, Levier, Leviathan, you know, the staple rank threes. But other than that, this deck this deck is pretty good. It really is. I fare well against, like, Dino Rabbits and stuff, Samurais, what, whatnot, you know. I mean, this deck is really, really good. So that's it from my Nurse Burn deck. Hope you all liked it, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.